This story begins on the 7th of February 2021 in London, England. I know this sounds incredibly dramatic for a vlog, however this took me six months to film and made me cry literally every single day. This is basically a movie I heavily suggest you watch to the end and I'm not even just saying that for attention purposes because I please just okay bye. Hi this is really weird this is this is a vlog um actually one that I didn't think was gonna happen because uh this was a photo of me a few hours ago so as you can see there are many things behind me and you may be thinking Kira, where are you going? There's a pandemic. You're gonna die and then people are gonna cancel you and you're gonna get death threats on, on TikTok. Um, <laughs> well, I guess here's my formal announcement that I'm moving. <laughs> now, this is something that's been in the works since 2019 because I don't know if you knew this, but moving to a different country requires a lot of stuff. You basically have to prove to the government that you're good enough to be there. I'm moving to the United States of America. <laughs> you may be thinking, Kira, questionable decision. I'm I know, I know, but too far deep in now. But this is also like a maybe. Uh, to get into the US, I need to get my visa. And the first part of my visa, like the important part has been approved. It took thousands of thousands of money and um, lawyers and stuff to get that done. Now I have to go to a US embassy, get it processed into my passport. They asked me some questions like, hey, I guess I just check I'm not a criminal. I don't really know what's gonna happen. I'm kind of scared and I try not to think about it because every time I think about it, I wanna throw up. Yeah, and that should be as easy as going to the US embassy embassy in London which is 20 minutes away from where I live and then getting on a plane and flying to LA. The embassy in London is closed and the nearest one I could find that was open and was doing what I needed to do was in Greece. So I'm about to fly to Greece in a few hours it, to Athens and they're in a full lockdown so I'm gonna be there for two weeks. I have to quarantine for seven days on arrival and I know a lot of people probably wouldn't do that but I'm gonna do it because I want to be respectful and then I have my like visa appointment and then it could take five days to get uh, my passport back. So once I have my passport back that will be about two weeks and then there's currently a European UK travel ban into the US right now so from Greece I'm flying to Dubai for two weeks I'm gonna meet Kayla there so I don't get kidnapped this is the hardest I've ever worked for something in my whole entire life so I guess I'm just prepared to do whatever is necessary but um yeah so I've been planning to move to LA for d over a year now and I haven't said anything about it because I don't want to jinx it and it feels really weird talking to a camera about it but um I guess I'm gonna finish packing and then go to the airport to spend two weeks alone in a hotel room in Greece. This is the craziest thing I've ever done. Please wish me luck. I'm really gonna need it. I have to leave in like two hours. Okay, bye. So I proceeded to pack literally every item that I own ever into like three suitcases and I was on my way to the airport. I, I got on that plane. I don't like flying, but I wasn't nervous because I knew I was ready to start the next chapter of my life. And that was gonna begin in Athens. Greece and consequently take me literally to three different continents but I'm getting ahead of myself. Day one in Athens was successful and while I was doing a little window sightseeing the worst thing that could have possibly happened happened. They cancelled my appointment. Frick. Updates the next day I'm wearing my crying glasses again. Let me just read this email that I received to you from the embassy. Um, Dennis Workman, at this time we are not offering regular appointments in Athens. Additionally, at this time we are only offering visa appointments to citizens of Greece and others who are permanent residents. Unfortunately, our appointment software does not allow us to restrict booking at the time the appointment is made. We apologize for the inconvenience. The audacity. The inconvenience. I'm in Greece. I'm in literal Greece. I can't even go, like, get on the next flight home. You have to have, like, a whole test and everything. I've already, like, cried about it, so I'm fine. I'm just kind of in the absolute outrage phase because I have so many reasons as to why this email is just a lie. For example, I booked my appointment over the phone where an employee confirmed to me that they are offering appointments for my visa type for people who aren't citizens. And I didn't use their software to book it because... An employee of theirs booked it over the phone because their website wasn't working. So someone's lying to me right now and I don't know who it is. But like, I have business to attend to, I have money to acquire, I have people to see, I have a literal house waiting. I've packed all of my possessions with me. A freaking PC. I could have broken everything I own. I brought everything valuable I own with me. I could have caught literal COVID and the audacity for them to say, oh, we apologize for the inconvenience. I'm in 
degrees. I have a non-refundable trip to a hotel in Dubai because I was like, well, you know, if everything goes to worse and I'm depressed, then I guess I'll just have to go to Dubai anyway because Kayla's has booked a flight there too. But then the UK did the whole, if you're in Dubai, you can't come back to the... I, this is such first world problems. I, I get it. <laughs> but um, when someone's like, oh yeah, you can have a job and move across the world that's fine yeah we'll just interview you everything will be good to go and then you get halfway there and you're in a foreign country and they're just like nah no thanks so now you're missing out on uh money and uh place to live my apartment is literally destroyed head to toe for me unpacking everything and i knew like it was there was a possibility that stuff could go wrong but i didn't think they would be this incompetent that one person would tell me one thing another person would tell me another thing i just called the embassy and they said she was the, late, the woman was so rude to me and was like i cannot confirm anything right now shut up <laughs> I'm supposed to be moving. Signed the lease in December when you approved my visa for. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have mental breakdowns. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to sleep because you know when you just sleep because you don't want to exist anymore. It's one of those days. <laughs> Bye. A few days later in Greece. You know, just when I thought being stranded in Greece with one direct flight a week, uh, no answer yet from the embassy, even though it's been a week. Uh, regarding if you can travel to the country in which you were actually on your way to be moving to with all of your possessions currently packed. When you thought that that situation couldn't get worse. Not necessarily worse, but just like, why is this happening to me right now? Bear in mind, I'm in Greece. This country. The country that is literally on fire at the time of editing this. I... At this point, Europe was pretty much in peak lockdown in February. I don't know if you remember that sliver of time right before Christmas where everything was kind of normal. That's when I made all my travel plans for this. My lease was gonna run out. I had already signed a new lease in a different country and signed contracts with companies that I was obligated to follow through with. But I was stuck in Greece. There really was about one direct flight a week and I didn't feel like going on a 20 plus hour flight laying over in Frankfurt to Germany. So I spent the remainder of the two weeks, which was pretty much two weeks because this happened on literal day one, trying to communicate with lawyers in Bulgaria. That was interesting to see if they could do anything. I almost got somewhere. So instead of flying home a week after I arrived, I thought, you know what? I think it's gonna be okay. I'm not gonna fly home on the, the one a week flight, which happened a week after I got there. Just for then, every everything to fall through the next day. So I had no choice but to spend another week in Greece. I think I was probably at my mentally lowest point because I was very hopeless and everything went wrong and I just went home. I, I just went home. There was nothing else I could do. I had exhausted all of my resources. So this story now brings us to June 26, 2021. I was truly at my breaking point after having yet another embassy appointment in London be postponed to February of 2022. So I decided to take myself on a spontaneous trip to Mexico. I don't know why, but honestly I had a really great time. I relaxed, I saw some cool animals, I hung out with Kayla's. It was really good. Hello. I haven't seen you since, um, like the 9th of February, maybe? And today is currently the 15th of July, 2021. And I'm in Mexico. I'm in Cancun. I originally came to Cancun because I, uh, kind of hated my life and I wanted to jump out of a window every day. So I was like, you know, I need to go somewhere, get some vitamin D, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, just kidding. So we're in Cancun right now. We're in this crazy hotel. Kayla's has a gambling addiction right now. Yeah. And it's been paying for the, the best stuff ever. I really ask for the gold digger comments, huh? We love you, Kayla's. One like equals one, we love you, Kayla's. Anyway, I have so much to tell you. I came to Mexico purposely for a trip, just to like, you know, clear my head and vibe out. But someone sent me a tweet. I'm gonna show it to you now. From this guy, and it's kind of, and it's kind of crazy because it is the exact situation I am in. Pee pee poo poo, pee pee poo poo. I've DM'd this guy like, hey, I'm in the exact same situation. It really sucks. And this man, this man, I don't know who he is, but he gave me an email. He gave me an email address for some lawyers. 
and for a small fee, actually thousands of dollars, but it's okay, it's worth it at this point because I think I'm losing more money than that by not being there. I have paid them to secure me an appointment at an embassy in Mexico. I think it's Monterey, which is like a two hour flight from Cancun. I'm not really sure how you fly places in Mexico. I just have some airlines here that I've never heard of before. This is the 15th of July right now. We could be in the motherland, the US of A, the land of the free, the home of the brave by the end of the month. I don't know how to comprehend that really. I'll be back if there's any good news. I don't even know, remember what I filmed last time. It was that long ago. A few days later. Hey, I'm shaking. I don't want to say anything till anything was confirmed, but today I was really like, I was kind of like depressed. You know when you're really sad? Maybe it's just me. Maybe I should speak to my therapist, but I was like sleeping and like, I wasn't tired anymore, like I was ready to like just get up. But I just kept forcing myself to go back to sleep because I was just kind of depressed about everything. And when I finally do wake up, guess who emailed me? Yeah, yeah, the lawyers. And they're like, yo, Kira, not like that. They were like, hello, Miss Workman. We <laughs> we've secured, they didn't say we've secured, they said. Anyway, in two days, well, technically like one day, I have an appointment in Monterey. It was a lot sooner than I was expecting. It's currently 9 p.m. on the 21st of July, and I have a flight at 9 a.m. that goes to Monterey. I don't know how safe it is there. Um, so I booked like a five-star hotel there. <laughs> it was like $5,000. I feel like this is information YouTubers wouldn't usually tell you, but like, I feel like this has been a very real part of my life. I would like, I just, if anything, I'm bringing awareness to everything people have to go through to immigrate somewhere. It is not pain I wish upon anyone, but I think it's happening. I'm so nervous. I'm having like summer camps right now. I actually think I have to go poop, but um, yeah, I'm leaving at 9 a.m. I had to go buy a new suitcase because I bought loads of clothes while I was here, which was probably a really bad idea. But I'm so excited. I'm so excited to get there. I'm so excited to show you the house that I've had. We've had a lease on since December. The Michelle's just been living at it alone. Um, I'm finally moving and set up all of my stuff. <sighs> I don't even know. I'm definitely gonna do a house tour though, so stay tuned. I thank you, Jesus. No, that's weird. I don't wanna do that. Okay, bye. I have to poop. <laughs> Hello. It's currently. ten thirty seven PM Mexico time on Monday the july twenty sixth. This vlog began on, I believe, the 7th of February. How long ago was the 7th of February, 2021? Three weeks ago. It was five months and three weeks ago. Oh, I just saw the three weeks. <laughs> I was so, here three weeks ago. I was here in three And I would like you to follow me. No, I don't want to get up. <laughs> but I don't, but I don't. I would have updated you like instantly. However, after receiving the news, of this thing I'm about to tell you. I immediately went to sleep for six hours. Come under the sunglasses and under the inhaler. We have the folder of doom. Doom? <laughs> Inside of the folder of doom, a very nice man at the US Embassy today gave me this very scary orange looking piece of paper. I assumed it was bad. <clears throat> Your visa application has been approved. High five. <laughs> we booked a flight and I'm going to LA to move that even though none of my stuff's there because I was just coming to Mexico for fun and it's all at home. I'll figure it out. Okay, bye. And now I am here. The day after you saw the last clip, I took a five hour flight to LA from Monterey. I actually sat next to Jordan Woods pretty much the whole time, that was weird. But now I'm here in the house we live in. It is crazy. Here's a little preview of my office, but the next video is gonna be house tour. Um, <laughs> like, like this video if you want a house tour, I guess. It's a really cool house. This has been the most grueling year of my life. It's officially been six months since I was in Greece. I'm just glad it's over. I obviously really worked for this and anyone else that has applied for a visa for a different country knows how difficult it is, but um, just uh, on a serious note, thank you so much. I wouldn't have been able to do anything if it wasn't for you guys, mostly because I had to be like so famous to get this visa. So yeah, I mean, I guess continue doing your thing and subscribing to me, that would be really great because I'm gonna have to prove myself again in three years, but we're not gonna think about that now. Okay, I'm gonna go and eat a burger and buy a gun or something. Bye. <laughs>